Hey, welcome everybody. We are here at Frosty Faustings. Uh, this is day one. We have a tournament's getting ready to go here. And uh, I am here doing a couple of interviews. And for today, I've got L for Guilty Gear. Nice to meet you. Thank yeah, you. Nice to meet you as well. So uh, you're kind of like an up and comer right now uh, in a lot of people's eyes. Like people have kind of started like seeing you right. a lot more recently. Uh, but I just wanted to ask before we get to that part, how did you like start out in this? Uh, well, as most people, I played fighting games when I was younger, but I didn't really get into, I didn't really understand the concept of fighting games back then. So it wasn't until about Blaze Blue CP was released again in the US right. that I picked up fighting games and tried to go a bit more, like more competitive into it. And uh, I just net played for a while because I have a lot of uh, anxiety issues, like social anxiety. But then about February of last year, I decided to just try out going to offline stuff and traveling. So I started going out to locals in late February, and then in uh, March was my first tournament up in Richmond, and then Combo Breaker last year was my first major. So ever since then, uh, I just really just try to travel everywhere that I can, time and money while well. Mm -hmm. uh, you have been traveling a lot, like yeah. I've noticed. Uh, uh, so recently you were at NEC, actually. Yes. Uh, this, I usually travel up to Philadelphia quite a bit. And so uh, I originally was from Virginia Beach. Okay. And it's about like a five hour drive to Philly. But since there's like a whole lot of tournaments there, it's five hours is quite a bit for some people. But I just wanted to really play in these tournaments. So. Uh, a lot of the biggie majors like Summer Jam, uh, ECT, and NEC, I tried to attend. Sum Summer Jam and ECT, I didn't actually play because of other reasons, but NEC, I definitely attended and uh, I got top eight on that. TFC, which was a couple months before as well, down in North Carolina, I also got top eight on that. So I was really um, not so much confident, but really. Uh, <laughs> trying to do well in NEC to finish up the year, and I felt that I definitely did my two goals for NEC. So. Okay, yeah, you, uh, you're you really busy then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so speaking of NEC, that was kind of the the performance uh, that that made people understand like who you were, right? right. That's where a lot of people started to uh, hear about you. Like you've been around like you've been talking about before, right? right? Um, so, what was that like for you to have that kind of like performance? Like, did you did you like have to practice a different way? Like, what was going on uh, that day? I, I think oh, most of it that. really was just um, uh, a lot of it was my scene dying in Virginia Beach because yeah, because okay. yeah, people like our locals closed up because the owner got into some legal issues, and then a lot of the people there just aren't really interested in Guilty Gear. Like, uh, we have VR Raiden and DBC. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, they come out, but they don't come out, like, super often due to work and such. But since I work an office job, um, I really always pretty much have, like, afternoons, evenings, and weekends off. So since not everybody else can really travel or kind of... Uh, there's, like, a big skill gap in the Virginia Beach scene for Guilty Gear. So it's, like, uh, just, like, a couple people up top, and then there's, like, a pretty big gap, and then... A lot of other people so I didn't want to stagnate and then so I just started traveling out and uh, attending as many tournaments as I can with or without other people so leading up to NEC starting in probably September -ish or so mm -hmm. I started traveling out to Philadelphia a lot more and I participated in their locals quite a bit and um, uh, LK also comes out to some of the locals as well, and he also oh, nice. comes out to uh, Second State's place, uh, who I was basically uh, uh, spending the weekend uh, the house over there. Okay. So uh, a lot of the sessions leading up to NEC, they had a lot of play with competent people and LK as well, and he was giving me quite a bit of help. Like a, a lot of my growth, I feel, is definitely due to LK and talking with him. Oh, okay. And playing sets with him. That's nice so, to hear. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, in that growth, you have uh, you've basically I've only seen you with one character, and that's yes. been Venom the whole yes. time. Why Venom? Uh, I started with Eno and Sign, but then after a while, my uh, a lot of the the higher mechanic 
execution with her, uh, my hands just couldn't do because I have old old grandma hands. And <laughs> so, I, I know about hands. <laughs> I, I have them right now. I can't play games too long. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, towards the later end of Sign, I was experimenting with other characters, and Venom was one who's really uh, freeform, and I feel he's definitely like one of the best characters that anybody can pick up and kind of. Uh, show off their own style or their own personality through mm -hmm. the character as well. So a lot of the Venom uh, matchup, uh, there's a lot of character element matchup to it, but there's also a lot of personal player matchup going into it. So uh, I think Venom was definitely one that, I, the character that I was able to sh show what I want to show through Guilty Gear, at least in Xer. Um, I played Raven for a bit in Rev 1, mm -hmm. but he was really, really linear and boring. And then Rev 2 changes happened, and he was a bit more interesting uh, just because of his, uh, ma mainly his knockdown routes and uh -huh. whether uh, the passive aggressive and the excitement issue as well. And I tried playing him, uh, I tried switching to him back in August. But then after playing a month, everybody just told me my Venom was better and I should just stick with Venom. So uh, since then, I've just been sticking with Venom. And until like Robokai or Abba gets announced, then I'm probably just going to stick with Venom all the way through um, okay. Xrd. So. All right. Um, and so I want to touch something on mm -hmm. something that you said. You said that Venom is one of the best characters somebody could pick up to really express their style. Correct. Uh, why is that? Why do you say uh, that? I just feel like he has a lot of options going out of stuff and he has just... Uh, like every Venom that you see play, like uh, Sato, Ryan Hunter, Black Snake, mm -hmm. uh, myself, um, uh, some of the other uh, Venoms from around the world, like everybody pretty much plays like a different play style. Like some of us approach uh, Oki similarly, but overall, like the complete uh, toolkit, everybody uses it differently, okay. I feel. So I that, that makes yeah. sense. So that type of character, I feel like. It's not the easiest character for people to pick up, but I also don't feel he's the most difficult, but he's the one that people can, if they want to kind of show themselves off or show off their personality, I think Venom is definitely one of them. Okay, all right. So, uh, well, are you worried about what's going to happen to him in the upcoming patch? Uh, possibly. Pe people, complain, people complain a lot about, <laughs> Venom, about Venom 6P. They, they complain a lot about Venom 6P, and uh, it is a strong move. And they complain a lot about uh, Venom it, 2S. It's been strong for a long yeah. time. I'm just going to say it right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then they, they keep complaining that Venom has done nothing but get buffs and buffs and buffs. And he just keeps climbing the tier list. So like the top players, they get leveled off. Or the top characters, they get leveled off. So people want Venom to get nerfed. But um, even if he does get nerfed, whether through normals, hitboxes, or hurtboxes, or... Uh, like the top spin, back spin, because I think the top spin and back spin thing was really a good change for him. It definitely mixed up a lot of things and allowed a lot more options out of his routes. So whether they change those or something else entirely, like, uh, yeah, I think it's bad that he gets nerfed, but only because I play the character. I think most people feel that way. Like, they don't exactly want to see their character get nerfed unless they're, like, absolutely strong, like, leagues and leagues above just to you know have a more um, interesting dynamic gameplay mm -hmm. but I definitely don't think Venom's at that point yeah. so uh, yes I'll be sad that he gets nerfed but at the same time like I am still gonna stick with him up until either Abba or Robokai okay. so. is, is there anything like specific that you're looking for in the patch or um, just, just like thoughts in I'm, general I'm not sure it. exactly nope. like uh, I, like I have various issues with like blitz, and uh, I I still have issues with YRC. Um, it seems to be very common. Uh, yeah, things. yeah. It's like I'm I'm starting to get well, not starting to get, but I've pretty much gotten over it. But uh, if they can change, whether it's like the invul or the input eating or the slowdown, like one of those three things about YRC, then I'd be fine with it. Okay. But I mean, like. Like, everybody uses, or they try to use the mechanic to their advantage regardless. So, I mean, people just have to abuse whatever they can until then. It's kind of how you, uh, you're you supposed to be playing yeah, games anyway. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, um, then how do you feel about the U.S. scene right now? Uh, U.S. scene, um, I think uh, they're getting 
closer to the well usually when people say what are your thoughts about the US scene I assume they mean in comparison to like the Japanese scene not for just example in, com in comparison but, but uh, um, also I def right. uh, in terms of the US scene itself I like that more people are starting to make a name for themselves uh, like Zen Zen at Siotaku is mm -hmm. definitely one of them yeah yeah so uh, I just hope more people especially uh, if there's more patches or whatever or different renditions of the game or whether the game stays the same uh, more people get introduced to Guilty Gear and they play it and they try to go uh, more competitive at it because I definitely feel that the general um, like the intermediate players are definitely getting up more and more um, the higher the top level players are still climbing and so I definitely feel the US scene itself uh, is pretty good I, I just wish everything was more compact but it's the United States <laughs> uh, in terms of the other scene uh, in terms of against Japanese specifically I guess uh, I'm not quite sure if we're there yet like I'm not trying to uh, decry the Japanese players or anything like that mm -hmm. but um, there definitely are some stronger players that I I feel like a lot of our top players uh, they don't feel confident going against um, I definitely want to see Lost Soul go to Japan. Um, I think a lot of people yeah, will see that, yeah. Like I definitely, Especially after like, him playing Kadako at Seiko. Yeah, Kodaku, like, like after Kadako and Taka and uh, the other Japanese players that comes out here that he can uh, face. Like I definitely want to see him uh, try to show off um, the top end of America's skill level over there. Mm -hmm. So uh, he has a lot of hurdles, but I definitely hope he can uh, get the opportunity to go to Japan to show that off. Yeah. And Lussell is here at Frosty Cosmos, yes. actually, yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, um, I met him earlier, so. So, uh, speaking of Frosty, uh, is this your first one? Have you been to yes, one it's my it's my first Frosty. Um, like I said before, I went to Combo Breaker last year, but uh -huh. this is my first Frosty. Um, so far, uh, I'm not quite sure, other than that main ballroom, if they have other stuff going on, other than the There's, there's BYOC. an outside area yeah. where there's, like, a lot of other But games, I yeah. like that. Everything is definitely centralized, and then um, it's not it's not super packed or crowded, at least yet. Um, <laughs> though I I don't necessarily like the Friday thing, simply because um, I don't mind Friday pulls in general. Okay. But it's just the fact that it's also a two day event, so uh, at least in my situation, taking Thursday or spending the night here at Thursday for Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night is kind of unjustified in my situation okay. for a two-day event. Um, but other than that, um, I really like the event so far. And there's uh, quite a few people that I played today that I haven't played before at other events uh -huh. and online, so I'm very happy that I came. Okay, yeah. Um, well, I don't really have a whole lot for you. I just kind of want to give you the floor if there's anything you want to talk about, like any shout outs you want to give or anything like that. I guess shout outs would just be to, I guess mainly Second State, who I play quite often. Uh -huh. uh, LK, who has been helping me quite a bit and uh, trying to get a bunch of us to, to the next level. So uh, those are the main two people. And I guess to my Virginia Beach scene and my new Philadelphia scene since I moved up there last week. Mm -hmm. So uh, those are the main people I would like to give a shout out to. Other than that, um, I hope Frosty just keeps going. Like from what I've seen so far, it's a very good event. I hope more people come here mm -hmm. because definitely, like I always tell people, uh, people in anime scene who haven't really gone out to tournaments, they ask me what tournaments they should go to. And so far, I've always said uh, Combo Breaker, uh -huh. Siotaku, and Frosty. So those uh, are uh, definitely some yeah, of my picks as like, well. Like like even over Evo, like Evo is nice for like just the the prestige of it and such, and the fact that you know quite a few Japanese players are going to be there. Yeah. But definitely these three tournaments, it very it treats anime players really really well, which I really like. So you would recommend it for other people to show up? Yes, definitely. Like if if. You're going to go to at least uh, one tournament, uh, Frosty, Combo Breaker, or Siotaku. You definitely have to make at least one of those uh, each year, in my opinion. Okay, well, thank you so much for uh, taking thank the you. time out of your thank day you. to uh, come with me for this interview. Uh, and I want to thank you guys for watching here. Um, uh, I will have uh, Elle's Twitter account and stuff like that, and you can follow her. 
Um, I don't really have much else for you guys. And uh, once again, thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, that'll be all for us today. So uh, stay frosty.